were here. The bathroom. In the bathroom. Shout out to Nintendo Capri Sun. I squeeze at the hole in the wall at the end of the tunnel and emerge in a bathroom stall. Raul comes up behind me and more of the mechanism activates and the wall rises up from the ground again, the toilet returning to its usual position. Everything's back to normal. It's almost kind of creepy. Um... <laughs> With the door still locked, it's very, very cramped. While the stall looks like it was made for a larger species that probably didn't take multiple people into account, Rolls practically got me pinned against the door. Not that I mind terribly. I'm sorry, would you mind getting the door? I can't reach the lock from here. Of course, just let me. I take my time trying to find the doorknob on purpose, but he doesn't need to know. Come on! Lou is like rotting now! He smells good. Come on, you fuck! That ought to do it. Thank you. Raven 3, we've touched ground in the men's room. Over. That is good. If possible, try to stay hidden from enemy. Then engage in ambush. We're gonna fight guys with weapons? That is accurate assessment. You do want to save friend and miss Fanny, do you not? Normally I would suggest avoiding combat situation, but this is not always option. All right. Not sure I'll survive this, but I have to try. We inconspicuously sneak into the hallway, which is empty now, apart from the bassist, who is just jamming. Empty and dead silent. I'm getting some haunted museum vibes. Raul's company doesn't make it feel any less off. At least the art's still on the walls. That's not what they came here to get. Isn't this amazing spot? We get to stop an actual art heist. I'm pretty nervous, actually. Nervous? Pusha! Why? You'll do great. They won't know what hit them. Aren't you scared? At all? A true hero of justice trusts in his abilities, his tools, and his companions. We have everything at our disposal to win this. Just stick with me. I'd be lying if I said his ludicrous amounts of confidence aren't at least a little infectious. But maybe he's faking this thing just as hard as I am? He beckons me down the hall and I follow. Every noise I hear makes me jump and I aim the grappling gun at every shadow I see. Eventually, Raul sidles up on a corner and I crouch down next to him. Alright, most of this junk ain't worth no trouble, Polly. I know that voice all too well. Been in my nightmares all week. Fucking love Polly, though. Speaking of hips, goddamn Polly. Peek around the corner to see the Barracuda standing next to the parrot janitor from before. Guess we weren't the only ones to change clothes. The junk ain't why we're here, Ishmael. Right, we be here for that spotty straggler. You talking about me? I want to say something, but Raul shushes me. No shenanigans, Captain only wants him tossed out. Figure I can have a little fun while we be at it. Got a mighty score to settle. If the Captain gets cross, you be on your own. A risk I'd be willing to take. You did say he ran starboard, didn't you, matey? Right as rain, he did. Down the hall, then starboard. Are you sure he didn't? Are you sure you didn't mess up your directions again, Ishmael? Starboard be left, correct? Starboard be right, ye fool! It be left, right, left, right! <laughs> oh, these two! Concern it! Why can't we just say left and right? This is why you still be a cabin boy, and I be the captain's right-hand man. <laughs> Fucking Polly. What a jackass. Don't you be... No, what you mean? Starboard hand man! Earl slowly crouches and beckons for me to fall. <laughs> Fucking jackasses. <laughs> Starboard, starboard, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> 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 
move as quietly as I can while the two continue their increasingly inconsistent pirate bickering. It's perfect. They're so loud. They'll never hear us. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah, the voice thing. Of course. Strive of Life is the most recent work of renowned painter. I don't fucking know. Nope. <laughs> Did I anger to deserve this kind of bad luck? Raul and I take cover behind the corner again. Mm-hmm. The outer, uh, the tour voice is so loud, the fish and parrot duo immediately look over to the painting. Did you do that, Ishmael? No, I don't think so. It depicts a struggle between nature and machine- Make it stop! I don't know how! Raul beckons me, jumping out from behind the corner. They still got their backs turned to us. Oh! Halt, evildoers! I swear on me bones, this is the last time I be taking you anywhere. Like he be any fun to take around. The boss, sir. The boss clears his throat. I said halt, evildoers! Yeah, yeah, can it wait for a bit? We be in the middle of it. You! <laughs> You're the fucker I mean. Uh, e be the landlubber from the store. That's right. It is I, the Dawn Hound. <laughs> oh, Polly. Polly, you're going to be a bitch about this, aren't you? Be for real. <laughs> Fucking! Uh, <laughs> the pirate burst out laughing. This be the man you sent you home crying, Ishmael. The ring pirates overboard is a little hobby of mine. Well, ye won't be so lucky this time, sailor. Ye may be rather large and have muscles larger than a frigate. Looks Raoul up and down and be rather handsome. But it still be two against one. Raul pulls me out of the shadows, and all of a sudden, I'm staring down two extremely dangerous and most likely armed men. They stare at me like I'm some sort of oddity. Dusk has come to... Uh, dusk has come! They <laughs> flex, judging by the looks on their faces, it doesn't particularly impress. Great entrance spot. Go ahead, say your posing needs some work. Try something like this. So I suppose himself, while I maintain uncomfortable eye contact with the parrot. This one wasn't here last time. Really? You... With the spots and the... You know what? Clark Kent got away with a pair of fucking glasses. Let's just... It's fantasy! They have a two-for-one at the freak store. Funny. I was about to say the same thing. How many curtains did you need to sew together that pirate getup? Oh my god! Oh, holy shit, Polly! Polly, you are sensitive. Oh, Jesus. At least my name ain't out of rubber, you scallywag! Jesus. Holy hell. Polly. Polly, you're sensitive. He takes a deep breath and slicks the feathers on top of his head back. No, happy thoughts, Polly. Happy thoughts, calm as the wind. Barracuda turns to him. To hell with the waves! What are you waiting for, Polly? Let's get him! Now, now, you know how I feel about getting me nails dirty, Ishmael. I just had myself a mani pet here, and my psychiatrist said. He does have really pretty nails. He does! I wanted to say that. Let's show them off. There you go. Nice. And here I thought you were a bird of paradise, or whatever the seven seas you call it. Turns out you're just a big chicken. What did you call me? A chicken! Your friend there has a point. That's it! I've had it! You want violence? I'll give you violence! Oh! Oh! Raul get with the fighting pose! Hell yeah! Come at us, fiend! Oh, they're gone. Nah, they're coming at us. The parrot charges forward with a screech that could shatter glass. The barracuda hot on his heels. 
Oh, I'm gonna get my mouse activated just in case there's a quick time event. God, I hope not. Okay, Spot, let's knock some heads together. Easy for you to say. What do I do? I could not be less prepared for this if I tried. Think, I'll think. True hero trusts his tools, his abilities, and his companions. Oh, well, enters a fighting stance. I aim my grappling gun down the hall, just past them. I hope this works. I squeeze the trigger and immediately surge forward as the hook speared into the wall. Dusk strike! Don't announce your shit! Tuck in my legs, only having a second to regret the choices that led me here before kicking the two thieves as hard as I can. They fly backwards, hitting the ground in perfect sync. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to stop this thing yet, and soon I follow smacking into the wall hard. It, 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 they told you! Just release it with the fucking whatever. Ow! Spot! Are you okay? I am most definitely not. My back! At least this time I have no one else to but myself to blame. That was quite the sun you pulled. You knocked him out cold! <laughs> I guess I did. Squeeze the trigger again, yanking the hook back from the wall. And then I collapse. Down he goes. I'm starting to like this thing. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, by that stance, I thought they'd these two were just gonna be like dishing about some shit. <laughs> just be like, this motherfucker. <laughs> Mr. Ahab, sir, I found this cat prancing about the about in the halls. Let me go! Fucking oh well, there's the full outfit. It's really just a coat and a hat, like... Seriously, you could have told this shit, uh, uh, man. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Another straggler, eh? What should we do with them? Tie him up and put him in a brig with the curator, Camo! Camo, Camo! Camo, Camo! We can have any interlopers swimming about, ha 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 ha! You can't be serious! By brig, you mean what, exactly? The janitor's closet. How troll. We went over this in your orientation, lad! <laughs> oh god, <laughs> look at his fucking eyes! You were assuming I understood even half of what you were saying? Listen to your captain, rookie, or you'll be joining him and no mistake! Did you take care of the dress like I asked you to? Oh yeah, the dress isn't even back there now. Oh! Notice how uh, Lou said the dress looked different? And we weren't fighting pirates up on the fucking top. I bet fucking Camo... I'm, I'm saying the name wrong on purpose there. Camo was like... But Camo switched the dresses so that Camo could get the fucking dress... The real dress and trying to pawn a fake dress off on the pirate syndicate. Ah, oh, that'd be interesting. The dress is safe and sound. Remarkably heavy, by the way. If you think I'm putting up with any of your shit, it would be in your best interest to comply, cat. Oh, what? I have seven children waiting for me back home, and they have sharper teeth than you. As a matter of fact, I can do far worse than... Oh. And... Duh! <laughs> Dawn has come to vanquish the night! The jig is up, Ahab! Let the civilian go! As I heroically dash, or well, attempt to dash into the scene, I come face to chest with a very large janitor from before. So you can recognize that. Will it happen in reverse? Except he's somehow wearing even less this time. And then it hits me. You're Ahab! I turn to Raul. Th this is Ahab? In the flesh, laddie! You'd be just in time to join this mutineer here in the brig while we ascend, abscond with the poxy gown. Poxy gown. Not if we have anything to say about it, right, Spot? Big whale man. Huge whale man. Spot? Honestly, as far as experiences go, big man hitting on me and turning out to be a supervillain isn't the worst thing that's happened to me. I could work with that. I can fix him, 
God damn it. God damn you. God damn you with your fixing him thing. Spot. Right, I guess I'm here to kick his ass. His round toned. Beautiful ass. Spot! Right, right! Are you alright, Lou? I mean, citizen? Lou is gonna see through this. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Lou, you fuck. That's awesome. Al, is that you under there? Yeah, no! no, no, no it's just Dusk Hound, the champion of justice! Why are you wearing- What is that? Is that a collar? It's my uniform, citizen! Uniform? You look like a clown! I have to agree with your companion. Your choice of fashion, and I use that term lightly, leaves much to be desired. I mean... <laughs> Let my friend go, villain! Quite frankly, you look like you fell down a flight of stairs at a thrift store and hit every bargain rack on the way down. Oh! Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Mmm! Oh, god damn! That's kind of harsh. <laughs> I'm being constructive here, but you may want to shop elsewhere in the future for all our sakes. God damn! God damn, man! Lou, you might want to duck. We lock eyes for a second before they dive out of the way, leaving plenty of room for the barrel of my grappling gun to connect to the chameleon's head. Ow! <laughs> At the very least, it causes him to let go. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my! That was a lot that happened all at once. Clutches his face and dramatically spins in place. You increase! You hit my nose! Oh, and the surgery scars just healed! I tip my muzzle toward Lou. Fetch the curator and get out while you still can, citizen. There's trouble, blur trouble brewing. Alex, whoa, secret identity, you'll call the scene. Right, right, I'll head off, just stay safe, okay? You know how bad I am following it, the what voice? What the fuck? Powerful hands grip my shoulders, and the next thing I know, I'm flung through the air head first. I have a split second to question my life. Like, there's a lot of questioning phrases, questioning your life, or things that led up to this, or whatever. I want to diversify those phrases before my sudden flight is rudely interrupted by the Rottweiler crash into. Ahab has interrupted this scene. Hate to break up the touch and moment and all, but our ship's about to sail, and we have no use for stowaways. Last thing I hear is the chameleon's chuckle echoing through the gallery. Oh, that face. Are you sure he's okay? He does seem rather out of it, doesn't he? Oh! Fear not. Does count has faced far greater challenges than this. You know you don't have to give up the act. Ahem. Sorry. Force of habit. My head is still spinning. What? <sighs> what happened? Ah, you've come too! Excellent! Did... Did we win? Honestly, no. It could have gone either way, really. I sit up. Feels like I got hit by a train. He, he didn't hurt you, did he? After you guys got knocked out, they said they had what they came here for and kind of just left. It was pretty anticlimactic. Your friend ended up rescuing me from my uncomfortable predicament in the janitor's closet. I don't love the way this woman makes getting locked up in a closet sound like a minor inconvenience. You really had no idea your janitors were villains this entire time? We hired them through a reputable temp agency, I'll have you know. Rest assured, I'll have a long conversation with them once this is all over. There was one other thing. Hmm. They tip their muzzle to one of the hallways, which Milo emerges. So much of this whole secret identity thing. Perimeter seems clear. 
No other the valuables stolen. Pushes his glasses up his beak. Thank you for checking, Milo. You can thank me by being more careful in future, yes? I see does count his regained consciousness as well. That's about... When did you get here? I had suspicion you might not be able to handle threat after communication went silent. It would seem I was right. May the rub salt in the wound! Fortunately, you yet live. Unfortunately, Money Talks Gown has disappeared. Then we'll go after it! Do not be so hasty. Attacking Syndicate without plan is much like hitting head against wall. Repeatedly. You will only end up with headache. Then how do we get the gown back? Only our exhibition simply cannot continue without the star of the show. We have to get it back somehow. We will go after dress, but we will prepare and approach mission with caution. The crow, gr the crow glares intently at Raoul and me. Where did you meet these guys, Al? It's a long story. Milo turns at Tulu and Fena, his expression much softer. We will tell you another time. We have objective to complete. He takes a bow. Can you get back to safety from here? I'm pretty sure I can make it across the street. I'll accompany you. I could use a bit of fresh air. Great. I'm sure Willie still needs someone to blow balloons. Balloons? Oh, have you never been to the Han? Can't say that I have, but I'd love to join you. It sounds fascinating. All right, I'll catch you later, Alex. Good luck, Mr. Duroy, and be careful. Lou looks back at us as the two of them walk away, confusion and annoyance playing on their face. I know that look. They're gonna grill me something fierce. So much I wish I could say right now, but I do have a job to complete. A job we messed up royally. Once they're out of sight, I turn back to Raul and Milo. So, how are we gonna find the Syndicate now? Fena's gonna have our hides if we don't get that dress back. If you recall, I planted a tracking device on one of Ahab's goons last week. Right. I remember him showing me at Mrs. De, Br De Brown's store. Milo. Sir. Now would be a good time to check where our fishy friend is headed. Affirmative. Milo presses a button on his wristwatch and a hologram pops up. Argot is moving towards Saltwater Canal District. On foot? On foot, judging by pace. They're probably headed underwater, if I were to hazard a guess. Are we even equipped to fight underwater? Raoul's face drops in disappointment. Well, you see... You are now. We are? We are? Wait, even Raoul is surprised? For the first time in what feels like forever, a grin creeps across the crow's face. He looks almost delighted. You two stormed out of headquarters like idiots. You did not think ahead, did not even consider possible outcomes. I did, however. Pulls out a small case with underwater breathing gear. Excellent! I don't know what we'd do without you, Milo. I would rather not ponder that, sir. Nice. Way to go, man. 